टुडे भारत जोड़ो यात्रा इज ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डे वी हैव कम टू गुडलूर एंड वी विल स्पेंड द नाइट हियर एंड टुमोरो मॉर्निंग भारत जोड़ो यात्रा विल बिगिन इन कर्नाटका भारत जोड़ो यात्रा हैज डन सो फार 57 सेवन किलोमीटर्स वॉकिंग पद यात्रा इन तमिलनाडु एंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी थ्री किलोमीटर्स ऑफ पद यात्रा इन केरला वी हैव स्पेंड थ्री डेज इन तमिलनाडु एंड एटीन डेज इन केरला वी विल नाउ मूव टू कर्नाटका फॉर ट्वेंटी वन डे भारत जोड़ो यात्रा After Karnataka, Bharat Jodo Yatra will go to Andhra Pradesh, four days; Telangana, thirteen days; Maharashtra, sixteen days; Madhya Pradesh, sixteen days; Uttar Pradesh, five days; Delhi, two days; Rajasthan, twenty-one days; Haryana, five days. punjab 5 days and jammu and kashmir 5 days so this is 3570 km bharat jodo yatra from kanyakumari to kashmir 1400 years ago bhakti movement started in south india in what is now tamil nadu so that kerala karnataka and from the south it spread to the north and east of india the bharat jodo yatra is like the bhakti movement of 1400 years ago it is going from the south to the north along with this bhakti movement this bharat jodo yatra is also tapasya yatra it is tapasya yatra for mr rahul gandhi who is walking 22 kilometers every day he is walking for 10 hours every day and taking rest only after 7 days one day of rest after 7 days so this is the transformation of the congress party it is the transformation of shri rahul gandhi and it is a booster dose for the congress party organization in all states of the country we are having main bharat jodo yatra kanyakumari to kashmir we are also having bharat jodo yatra in assam bharat jodo yatra in west bengal bharat jodo yatra in odisha yesterday bharat jodo yatra started in gujarat so we have bharat jodo yatras everywhere across the country in addition to the main bharat jodo yatra from kanyakumari to kashmir why are we doing bharat jodo yatra we are doing bharat jodo yatra for three reasons number 1 economic inequality is increasing price rise unemployment gst concentration of economic power rich becoming richer poor becoming poorer inequality between states is increasing inequality amongst people different sections of society are increasing so first reason why we are doing bharat jodo is because bjp is doing bharat todo by increasing economic inequality second reason why we are doing bharat jodo is because bjp is doing bharat todo by social polarization religion 
कास्ट लैंग्वेज फूड ड्रेस दे डिवाइडिंग इंडियन सोसाइटी दे आर स्प्रेडिंग हेट्रेड दे आर स्प्रेडिंग प्रेजुडिस वायलेंस रीराइटिंग हिस्ट्री तो दिस इज द सेकेंड रीजन वाई कांग्रेस पार्टी इज डूइंग भारत जोड़ो थर्ड रीजन वाई कांग्रेस इज डूइंग भारत जोड़ो इज बिकॉज BJP is doing Bharat Todo by political over centralization. Everything is now concentrated in one man, Prime Minister. Sarvajyani, he knows everything. Sarvavyapi, he is everywhere. Sarvashakti, he got all the strength. States, power is going. my friend parnivel tyagarajan has been saying how states have become irrelevant in modi's india political over centralization what the great kamraj talked about in the 50s states are the engines of growth in india what the great anna durai spoke in parliament in the 60s about giving power to state governments it is all tata bye bye it is all power with the central government what is neat neat girls have committed suicide in tamil nadu poor girls wanting to study medicine they forced to give neat because state government has become totally irrelevant in medical admissions so three reasons why congress is doing bharat jodo is because mr modi and his policy mr modi and his ideology is doing bharat todo economic inequality social polarization and political over centralization bharat jodo will strengthen the congress party we have received a tremendous response in tamil nadu we have received a super tremendous response in kerala and we will receive a super super tremendous response in karnataka it is a transformational moment in indian politics and for the next 5 and a half months Mr Rahul Gandhi along with 120 congressmen and congresswomen one third are women average age is 38 years they are walking from kanyakumari to kashmir now today in gudulu mr rahul gandhi had two interactions one first interaction he had with msme small industry small businesses largely from around the coimbatore area and second interaction he had with local tribal community and local farmers in the msme interaction which was for about 40 minutes there were 10 businessmen who attended one business woman attended and the main issue that was discussed in that interaction was gst all businessmen said and business woman said gst is destroying msme sector gst is only for big companies small companies are not benefiting and they are paying more their cost of doing business has increased in the interaction with the local tribal community issues of small tea growers were raised issues of land allocation to the tamils repatriated under the sirimao 
Indira Pact of 1960, uh, sorry, Sri Mao Shastri Pact of 1964 was raised. I will ask Jyotimani to highlight those issues in Tamil because they are very important and relevant for the local area. I want to end by saying that we are now going to have a short Padhyatra of about 5 kilometers in the evening. We will be spending the night in Gudalur and tomorrow at 8.30 Bharat Jodo Yatra will start in Karnataka. As a result of the Bharat Jodo Yatra, the BJP is very worried. The BJP is very disturbed and is doing its best to damage and disturb the narrative of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. But we are very clear that as far as the Congress is concerned, what may happen in Rajasthan, what may happen in Goa, these are of secondary importance. What is of primary importance is the Bharat Jodo Yatra. This will transform the Congress. This will transform Indian politics. And this will provide a new ray of hope and light in 2024. So I will request Jyotimani to brief you briefly on the issues that were raised by the local communities of the Nilgiris with Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Jyotimani. One minute. Let him, let him finish. I'll answer all your questions. Let him finish. <laughs> Nilgiri Mord, the moon of Shangal and the Ragal Gandhi on the Sonanga. One of the Sri Lanka and the Srima was Sastri Pakla on the Arla Chambere, Givandanga, Vandapa, and the Vela Kurgaga, and the area TS state will work up to If on the TS state Tanti Killer come, Tanti Killam, but the Vishma in the Ganga. If a tanti pagadilla on the tanti lava melama irritating a feeling irritant, three pium on the cardigala cutbird pandragana or a veil and another trick. Avangloda, Korikivande, and the Nelata on the moon moon acre in the Kurukuno, Pananga, Sri Lanka, and the Magadilla on the Vanga, Pananga, Vashinki, and the Tom. Matha Madri, Tamil Nadu, a bear, and the King, and all of Pomudia. Paying load a veil, I wipe up, poke the big ripper, the Nelam Kuruta, Nanga, the other ball the two, other than the Nala veil, I wipe up, wipe up, wipe up, wipe up, wipe up, wipe up, Okay, so you can ask any question. The local, the local communities requested Mr. Rahul Gandhi to raise these issues with the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister. This is my fourth visit to Gudulu in the last 10 years. What I heard today, I heard 10 years ago. Okay? These are not new issues. 
I have come here when ARDMK has been in power. Yes, I have come here when DMK has been in power. Yes, the same uh, minister I came as Commerce Minister. I came as elect, um, Environment Minister. I came as Rural Development Minister. But I have come. Happened. So this is my fourth visit but to Gudu. So state government has to take the action. What the local communities requested Mr. Rahul Gandhi to raise this issue with Tiru M.K. Stalin with whom he has an excellent relationship. Mr. Stalin, in many ways, flagged off Bharat Jodo Yatra on the 7th of September at Gandhi Mandapam in Kanyakumari. We are a coalition partner in the state government. We are not in power in New Delhi. We are an opposition party. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has assured them that he will raise these issues with the Chief Minister, ultimately, these are issues that the state government has to take a decision. There is one issue on which the central government can certainly play an important role in the Forest Rights Act. For people who have been cultivating forest land, the UPA government passed the Forest Rights Act in 2006. I was the minister. And what the act does, those who are cultivating land in forest areas become owners of that land. They get pattas. That is a central law. That is one thing certainly Mr. Gandhi can raise in parliament and alert the union government. But on all issues that Jodhimani has raised, which the local communities have raised, one more issue that was raised was inclusion in the scheduled tribe list. Yeah. Badigas. Yes, the Badigas. The Badigas should be included in the scheduled tribe list. This also has been raised when I had come in the past. This is a decision that is to be taken by the union government. Ultimately, it will come to parliament. A constitutional amendment will have to be passed. If Badigas are, uh, Badigas are going to be uh, you know, uh, included in the scheduled tribe list. So all we can do... 2013, UPA actually bring a lot of bill, but... But the government, yeah, the government fell. 2013, thanks to the, you know, the DMK was very much part of the coalition, a bill was uh, introduced in parliament, but it could not, it lapsed because our government did not come back to power. So any request for MSPS uh, given the minimum support place for uh, T? Yes. One by one, one by one. Tomorrow is the last day for filing an election, a nomination. By 3 o'clock, you will know. If there is one candidate, there will be no election. If there are two candidates, there will be election on 17th of October. But this is of secondary importance. It is of importance only to you for headlines. The, the entire Congress party is focused on Bharat Jodo Yatra. Mr. Rahul Gandhi, morning, afternoon, evening, <coughs> night, is focused on Bharat Jodo Yatra. Congress party organization in state after state is focused on Bharat Jodo Yatra. Now, some MLAs are living in Gujarat. Some disciplinary notice is issued in Rajasthan. Something happens in Assam. This is bound to happen. We are a big country. We are a national party. We are a democratic party. Remember, Congress is the only party in India which has a system for electing its president. No political party, no political party has a system for electing its president. My personal view, I am a great believer in Kamaraj model. You know what Kamaraj model? <laughs>
consensus. Kamraj created consensus in 64, consensus in 66, consensus in 67. So I believe in Kamraj model. However, if elections are inevitable, we will have election on 17th. We are the only political party to have a system for election. And more important, we are the only political party which has an independent election authority. We have TN session in the Congress party. You remember TN session? Yes. Our TN session has lot of, not like that old TN session. So our TN session, we have independent election authority. He will conduct election. Every voter has a voter ID card, like your Aadhaar card. So no for false voting, dummy voting, uh, duplicate voting, no. 9,000 delegates will elect Congress president. Result will be announced on 19th, if there is election. Why is it doubt whether there would be an election? How can I say? Tomorrow, 3 o'clock, things will become clear. Mr. Gelot is already officially out of the race right now. So I am waiting till tomorrow, 3 o'clock, is the last day. Till the last moment, we don't know who will file, who will withdraw. By 3 o'clock. It is, but normally you would expect that people who will file will not withdraw. So I, that's why I am saying repeatedly, wait till three o'clock tomorrow. Yes, sir. Any other On BFI ban, Congress party stand is very clear. Angamali in Kerala, Mr. Gandhi was asked and he said Congress party has always opposed all communalism, majority communalism, minority communalism does not matter. We are opposed and we fight all forms of communalism, number one. Number two, Congress party has zero tolerance of communal organizations who spread hatred, who spread violence, and who spread prejudice. So we are opposed to all forms of communalism, whatever color, whatever type, whatever nature, makes no difference. One question, tomorrow you are entering Karnataka, Gundapet area, we see a lot of Bharat Jodo Yatra posters and flex have been completely torn. And now we see Mr. Even D.K. Kumar has accused the BJP saying that this could be the work of the BJP to which Mumbai has to Your reaction to that? We all dirty tricks. And we were in Tamil Nadu where the ruling party, we were part of the ruling coalition. 
we are entering now BJP territory. We are prepared for all sorts of dirty tricks. These dirty tricks can be to run false social media campaigns. These dirty tricks could be to damage the reputation of the Congress party and of Sri Rahul Gandhi. This dirty tricks could be to sabotage. And they may even resort to violence. I don't put anything past the BJP. So they are worried, they are disturbed, they are nervous by the public response of the Bharat Jodo Yatra and they are surprised that Mr. Rahul Gandhi has had the endurance for so long. They shouldn't have been surprised, but they were taken aback. So we are prepared tomorrow, from tomorrow for 21 days. And after that, of course, we go to Andhra, Telangana. <coughs> Uh, we, were, we are also prepared for Maharashtra, which has now got a BJP gov, BJP Shiv Sena government. Right. And now Karnataka is a poll bound state. We are going to polls by next year. Yeah. But, uh, you know, in Kerala, the kind of tremendous response that you have received, do you think that would be something that you, are you gauging that on the ground? In, it would be the same thing in Karnataka as well? In Kerala, the public response exceeded the Congress's expectations. And it exceeded the expectations of the CPM also. I think both Congress and CPM were surprised at the manner in which the public responded to the Bharat Jona Yatra. I am confident, I am very confident that thanks to the massive mobilization that has been carried out by our Congress party organization in the state of Karnataka, the response in Karnataka would be equally tremendous as we have seen in Tamil Nadu and Kerala.